This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Good morning, I'm Jessica Kirk, and I'm here with Dr. Fru, a hip and knee reconstructive surgeon. Good morning. Now, Dr. Fru, tell me exactly what a hip and knee reconstructive surgeon does. So, a hip and knee reconstructive surgeon replaces or otherwise resurfaces worn out or arthritic joints. Now, what about some new technology that you have in hip replacement? So, there's a, a newer, innovative approach to hip replacement called direct anterior hip replacement, which uh, replaces a joint in a similar manner to the more traditional methods, except for the fact that the approach is much less invasive and less traumatic to the tissues around the hip. Now, explain to me a little bit more how this differs from a traditional hip replacement. Um, the reason why it differs is it's an incision that's placed between muscles, so there's no damage or cutting of muscles. And as a result, the patients rehabilitate much faster, and there's no precautions, no rules sp uh, specifically to follow to prevent a problem after surgery. Okay, so explain to me a little bit more about the benefits of this procedure. So what we're seeing first and foremost is faster recovery. Patients are mm -hmm. up and walking the afternoon after their surgery, and they usually only spend one day in the hospital, one night. Um, and uh, we're seeing a lot lower pain scores and much less blood loss at the time of surgery. So how does the recovery time then differ from a more traditional hip replacement? Uh, patients are back to their normal lives within two to four weeks instead of six to eight weeks. Now, how do you know somebody's a candidate for hip or knee replacement? Uh, that's my job as a hip and knee surgeon is to decide if you're a candidate and which approach is best for you and your body. This has been a WECT Business Break.